Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy, but today on this channel we're talking about journaling. And the journals that I'm creating are for my grandchildren and children, my three beautiful daughters, to share stories about our family history, about ancestors, about my history. I mean, my grandkids don't know life before microwaves. So if I tell them a little bit about my life, it will be interesting uh, because it will be if the olden days. They asked me once if I had to um, ride a horse and buggy to school. It was all I could do <laughs> to maintain, but I digress. Um, I normally do quilting with light blues and, you know, like aquamarine, lavender, purples, those colors, not these colors. And I was looking for these colors to use them to make embellishments on different things um, for my grandsons. Like this would look nice with a little border of this green with a little burgundy. So I went looking on Etsy and I found a gal named Sharon Lighthouse who had these tiny little pieces. Because you know, you can't buy uh, less than a quarter yard of fabric. Well, what would I do if all I needed was one third of this, you know, to get the job done? Um, so she has a, a an Etsy store and I ordered from her. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people in the world of genealogy, but I was uh, surprised when I received not only these really cool fabrics, but where did I put it? This absolutely, totally awesome miniature journal custom made for me by Sharon Lighthouse, who figured out that I am Dear Myrtle and if you follow me on Facebook, um, I'm always doing things like I choose joy. And she made this journal for, I mean, look at the stitching on that. I've tried to zoom in. So you can see there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. This is sari silk that she's used to wrap around it. A 3D custom made um, little flower and the background is awesome and look at this deckled edge i think she did use in fact this we are whoever it is that made this we are tear guide i think that's how she got the deckled edge but that deckled edge oh my gosh so so i opened this and Mr. Mert was in the kitchen and i'm like crying and he came to me because he thought maybe i'd hurt my leg again and then I showed him this absolutely exquisite miniature journal with a tuck spot that's got little things here and there. This is exactly my goal. I mean, look at the effort she went to with the stitching and everything. She knows that I, I um, quilt and sew. Um, old timey rose colored thing. Whoops, here's something that came out of the back. Oh. Uh, tea dyed paper to write on. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm starting to create to share with my grandchildren. Now these belong, I think here. Uh, I mean, look at the mix and match and how well it's done. And then she sewed it together by hand as the old bookmakers used to do. Not making books, but bookmakers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A uh, big shout out to Sharon Lighthouse. Very cool tuck spot on the back. A little thank you note. I was blown away by this gift. I will link her Etsy page in the show notes and nothing left to say. But thank you, thank you, thank you, Sharon, for a beautiful, beautiful gift. And these little swatches that are going to, they saved me money by being able to buy them from you so that I can use them to embellish my uh, grandson's journals that I'm making. Nothing left to say, but happy family tree climbing and journal making, everybody. That's a wrap. <laughs>